all day, all day, every day, every day. We was on that block until we made a way, we made a way. Day to day, man, that's the only way, only way. They gon' know my name until it fade away, fade away, fade away, fade away. They gon' know my name until it fade away. All right, good morning, guys. It's Tuesday. Uh, I don't even know something in September. And uh, as I said before, hold on. As I said before, um, I'm gonna be at Haspen rebuilding the track, and guess what? I'm at Haspen rebuilding the track, and we've got this, I mean, there's a dozer up there, I already started making a landing for one of the jumps I wanna do, and I've got this big giant thing, it looks like a T-Rex, and it's just, just ripping big holes in the ground. But, yeah, so, right now it looks like a big mound of dirt, um, I'll, show you the next clip of what it's gonna look like when it's finished <gasps> all right guys so just today I've got this triple finished got a little option to step on step off triple over or quad whatever you want to call this at the top of the hill the line over there is actually a double and then even well it's hard to see but the rhythm section down here I've got table table double table with several options you can go quad triple you can go triple step off double you can go table triple triple there's lots of options there and now I'm working on the 110 and then I'm going to do something here. I'm not sure yet. I'm just going to kind of go with the flow. But yeah. Hopefully I'll have it done by the weekend. Alright guys. Well. I worked all night last night. Literally all night last night. I got maybe four hours of sleep in the van. I slept in the van. But. I'm pretty sure I got the track laid out pretty good. This is that big triple I was working on before. It's pretty sweet. So now, I got a few guys that are supposed to be coming out and test riding. And then I'm gonna go home and actually get some sleep. And then tomorrow, I'm gonna go through and put a lot of sand in the track. That way, it's not so hard packed and doesn't hurt. Alright guys, well, it's Friday and the track's almost done. What? Yeah. I will. It's almost done, but we gotta put in sand and stuff. So I got Mike, Bryce, and a couple other people helping. Well, Bryce jumped in the excavator and was coming underneath the, the power lines that go towards the the drag strip here and uh, accidentally hit him so he knocked down the pole with the lines going across so now nobody can exit the park unless they go all the way around to go out that way so we put a new pole in we're gonna strap it to it just temporary for now and now we got to hook the power lines up good job Bryce Go. 
Good morning. <laughs> Wake up, Taser. You're lazy. We gotta put water on the track. Come on. What's up, guys? Good morning, Taser. Hey, guys. Here I go, ride. I'm gonna ride some dirt bikes. Ooh, man, that time was good. That's not all of it. We're bringing in a lot more to make the track even better. Uh, October 14th, we're going to have a race there. And it's going to be like a Halloween-themed race. So if you want to bring um, costumes and race in your costumes, that's fine. Uh, it's on a Saturday, so it's a little different than everybody else. It doesn't really interfere with everyone else racing on Sunday. So that's good. So hopefully, if you guys are riders and you want to come out, come out if you guys are vendors and you want to come out let me know figure out a way to get you guys out there uh, also I'm gonna be offering training throughout the week on that track there's not a lot of people that go there during the week so we'll pretty much have the track to ourselves so if you want to do some training classes let me know and yeah that's it so I'm gonna leave it here for you guys and yeah I'll start a new vlog, hopefully next time I go back out there, so stay tuned for that, we'll see you guys. <laughs> <laughs>